full so you want to make sure you don't miss out. So huge. 40,000 yeah. square feet. That is a massive oh venue. Gosh. And there's just so much to do, like, as well. There's, like, nothing. There's just so much activities to have. Now, this is a matchup we hyped up before. If you just splice the video, you can hear everything that we said before about this. But we have Super Girl Kels versus Raptor. Raptor been playing Yoshi since, like, Brawl. And Kels also, actually, I believe, has also been playing Sonic since Brawl. They have been around for a long time. They have really good fundamental understandings of these matchups because they've seen it so many times. Yeah. Um, and I mean, it, it is going to come down to what new tricks do they have and just a lot of neutral play, essentially. Because obviously, uh, both characters have a couple new things in this iteration of the game. Not sure how familiar Super Girl Kills is, Super Girl Kills is with Yoshi and Raptor is with Sonic. But it's kind of like, you know, there's always new tricks. Always little little things they have. I think a big thing that the Long Island Yoshis do a lot, which we're seeing already, is they use Egg Toss at ledge to catch two frames on a neutral getup and to cover a few options. Raptor's been doing that, and Kelsey's been kind of waiting a bit. So that's good patience. That's good discipline. Because if you move in front of that too much, you're going to get punished. At least for Kelts. This one, if you care, just can actually challenge Yoshi off stage yeah. somewhat. Because there's so many options for that forward air homing attack to snipe a jump from Yoshi. Yeah, a lot of tools. Um, one thing I do want to note is uh, earlier Raptor went for the down B, and Supergirl Kelts shielded it. And I, it's just something to know because that shield was a little bit smaller, it would have broken, and hopefully Supergirl Kelts is aware of that and doesn't do it too much. Yeah, you got to watch out for that because that is a free punish for Yoshi. And Yoshi has so many good combo starters, but for Sonic, at least you can get away from him. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't be getting hit by F tilt many times in this matchup. And just really a patient game between both of these two, knowing how important that first stock is. You know, Yoshi can keep you away with the yep. eggs. Sonic can just kind of run away from you if Sonic chooses to do that. So this first stock is it's so imperative to get that first one, and Raptor managed to do it with a well-placed back air. That was so fortunate for Raptor, because back air is a decently strong move, but it's one of the main kill options at that point. Kelso's holding in because of the side beat, so that made that DI even better for Raptor on that stock. And now what is Raptor going to do with it? Hold the lead. Stay in shield and hold center stage. This is exactly what you have to do. Because if you have the lead, Sonic has to approach you at some point. And because of the fact that Sonic has uh -oh. to get to you, you avoid getting pushed off stage. But now Kels could put out the... the no, they actually didn't put the spring yeah. out because the egg was already there. So it was kind of out of position. It probably would have traded with the egg. It, by the way, can we talk about Raptor's confidence? Raptor has the lead and is still running a Supergirl Kels, literally running into the shield, just fearless right now. I'm yeah. loving the confidence from Raptor. But that's what been without like a healthy dose of command grab, too. We haven't seen many egg lake attempts from Raptor, because for one, Sonic's always on the move, but two, you're doing this while potentially taking an out of shield punish parry up smash or something like that. So, and at this point, what has Kels done to show you that she can actually punish you for approaching? Yeah, that's true. And I mean, Raptor just mixing it up so well. And now, uh, again, a little bit more of that defensive play coming in. And I, I think this is such an understated skill that really, really solid players have. It's just flawlessly mixing in aggressive play with defensive play because it forces your opponent to continue to guess. Exactly. And even something that looked a little silly a second ago, right, where Raptor was kind of just threw out like four hitboxes in center stage, what looked like for no reason. It's hard to react to Sonic running up on you sometimes, yeah. so it's a way to make Kels stay still. And it's also a way for him to realize that Kels has no answers because this is 163. <laughs> what, like, Kels just can't run up and get a grab like she wants or dash cancel up tilt, but you, you, got, you have to find something right now because we're getting pretty deep on the timer. And just throwing out a bunch of back airs. Kels cannot find the throw. Finally gets in, but misses the homing attack. Gets the hit down at the bottom. I'm pretty that sure the jump it? got sniped. Yeah, and I mean, uh, well, I do like the attempt from Raptor. Does not quite uh, pan out, but does try to get hit by the spring, maybe hoping that to give a, enough height. But Supergirl Kels is like, I don't need to hit you anymore. Yeah, I'm not even going to lie. If I, if I get hit by forwards, uh, the forward air down there after I do all of that, I unplug, think for a second, like, all right, we're going to go to game two. We're going to figure this out. But yeah. Raptor is in full control right now. But also, a good thing that benefits Raptor is, even though he has been playing a bunch, he's from the Tri-State area where you have people like Sinji and John Numbers who will make you play with them For to sure. their pace of the game. Sonic loves doing that, and Kels hasn't been able to establish that because Raptor took a lead and has been holding it really well. That's a New York, New Jersey thing, by the way. Y'all been doing that since Brawl. <laughs> You're like, yo, yo, this is, a, this is how we're playing the game today, all right? Look, it's a city that never sleeps, and it's the brackets that never end. <laughs> like, <laughs> and the characters that never... No, I'm joking. <laughs> No, but it, I mean, it's 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 such a good just, I don't know, having that option is so good. One you know. thing that's working really well for Kels, actually, funny enough, is, oh, oh no, oh, no missed the homing attack, goes high. That, that, that works so out, because even if you Kels. take a trade on Nair there, like with both, 
you're not dead. So yeah. that, that works out in, uh, for Kels there. But Kels actually isn't even that far off from bringing this game back to even. I mean, Supergirl Kels has a lot of work to do just in terms of getting off a single stock as Raptor just consistently gets almost a 200%. But still doing a great job and takes that stock only 42. This is huge. Yes, 42% after how everything was going before. This is really good. We're sub two minutes now. And if you're Raptor, you have to watch out because if you want to camp, that's good. If you want to space out and go for uh, like zoning, that's fine. But Sonic is super quick and has really good consistent strings to get you right to 49 as well. So yeah. you have to get this damage on ASAP. And this might come into play. Timer is a win condition as we're approaching a minute and 30 seconds right now. Both players displaying so much patience. Only 17% separate in both of them as well. And yeah, Abtil puts nine, it out for any so big. Oh, oh, no. And now Kels has the lead. Going. So Raptor has to approach all of a sudden. And Raptor finding the falling upper. Finds the up tilt. Waits for the spring. Now you have to be careful with your landing. That's a huge down air. And that uh, just took so much damage. For Supergirl, Kels it almost makes it so that timeout is not a win condition anymore. I mean, being down by that much, you almost have to just take the stop at this point. Oh, a, a side B to B reverse back here off the side of the stage might actually take out Raptor. So Raptor's got to be very careful. He's going to keep trying to find the platforms to hide to avoid the uh, avoid any aerial approach. Kels is slowly working way back into this too. This is just such a scary position to be in. Every single hit matters so much. Oh. Because, oh, oh, I thought maybe that way was going to come through. Great air dodge out of the way from Supergirl Kels. 111 to 116. This is only game number one. Raptor trying to find the straight hit. Kels waiting for Raptor to make a big punish so she can get the whip. Uh, go for a big hit and get the whip punish. Becker oh, finally okay. does it. Oh, my goodness. That was so much work was Raptor so had to do. And then Kels almost got it. And then at the very end, after all of that, holding in with the side B again, it was a pretty fresh back air too. Yeah. Finally finds the, uh, the stock. That was so close, so tense, and you could tell the players were just not necessarily nervous, but it was tense. That was affecting the crowd, too, because I just saw Ken, the Sonic uh, from Japan a second ago over here, and as he walked over and saw that, he went, ah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like that looked like, ah, oh, so close. Almost did it. The Sonic players all support each other a bunch. A, a yeah. story we tell a lot is that, like, years ago, especially with Shining Up, they used to bring the seven Chaos Emeralds to, like, to events, oh, yeah, and they I would remember. pass them out, and then the person at the highest point would get more Emeralds. It was so funny, <laughs> but... Uh, they I mean, bring they, it back. They're thriving because Sonic 2 is incredible. It, uh, it, it's Son Sonic stick together. I, 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 I love that movie. Also, we see a color oh, I didn't watch Sonic 2. Actually. You are messing up. Or Sonic 1. We are seeing Sonic 2 match number 2 because this is the second time we've seen Sonic, okay. though. Because Was Yoshi in it? Uh, I'm not watching it. <laughs> <laughs> no. This movie edition it is. Uh, Raptor switching things up here with the color change, but Raptor barely edging out that W after yeah. having such a large lead before. And I mean, uh, if you're Raptor, it's kind of like, well, maybe the more aggressive approach is better because when you kind of wait and let Supergirl Kells develop a game plan, we've seen that uh, you might not win it. You won last time, but you don't know that you're yep. winning again. The most difficult thing is that Sonic thrives off of characters who don't have like the best out of shield game because Sonic can play around you. Yoshi is one of the best out of shield characters, period. You have the Nair, you don't get shield poked, and you have so many options like down B if somebody spot dodges in front of you out of fear or something, and then you get a read. So you have to watch out. That's why Kels is playing so respectful to Raptor because if you just run in, you're getting hit by one of these straight hit aerials. Yeah. And you really don't want to afford the trade. You, you never really want a trade you have a huge lead, but let alone against a character like Yoshi, who's not exactly the lightest character. Exactly. Yeah, Yoshi actually got some weight to him, so that's another thing that could be a bit frustrating. The switch up to Town and City helps on the sides. Not so much off the top, but Sonic mostly kills off the side anyways. Yeah. And uh, Yoshi was killing off the top a lot of times. So, I mean, the back air. Oh, speaking of that. Yeah, that's a confirm yeah. right there. That was sub 100. Ajax, so, as you said, Sonic kills off the side. Anyway. Yep, and the forward air will almost always be the thing to get things done. And now Raptor has to go and chase down Kels. And Kels is going to keep trying to walk Raptor to the corner so she can get a bunch of damage from Ledge. Yeah. Uh, oh, still alive for the moment. Accidental air dodge off stage does not matter. As Raptor is still keeping on this aggression. Yeah, Kel oh my goodness. If Kels decided to go above the stage, that would have been a stock. But Kels is actually doing kind of similar to what happened to Raptor. She's waiting for these falling up airs because that's the main way that Raptor's been getting a lot of damage. And she's not getting hit by them nearly as much in game two. Yeah, significantly uh, better adjustments 
being made. I mean, they both adjusted, but just Super Girl Cal's a little bit better. Ooh, but the back air is going to take it, but a 72% lead is so big for yeah. Super Girl Cal's, and especially that play style she's been implementing. Yeah, Yoshi can get damage, but usually needs a platform to do it as well, because he has F tilt and he has big strings, but having the reset on the platform matters. So Kels has to take advantage of the layout right now, tries to get an aggressive landing there from Raptor, maybe at like a falling forward air to get the back air. And I mean, if you're Raptor, it's kind of like, what do you do at this point? Yeah, that option coverage that you're doing before with all those straight hits doesn't matter as much if Kels all of a sudden does have to move yeah. forward. This is super taxing, by the way. I know it may seem like, oh, they're just not fighting. But the thing is, Kels is waiting for the whiff punishes, and now Kels has a big lead, which forces Raptor to approach, and then she can play her game. Not just waiting, hitting the whiff punishes. <laughs> You know, sometimes players wait and they go for it and miss. Supergirl Kells apparently never misses. Absolutely not. Now, this is Yoshi, so you have to watch out uh -oh. for what could be a huge damage string in a forward air. Like, that can, that's what happened last time. Looking for the high recovery does not go for it. That could have evened the game up right there. Yeah, just really, really good decision making right there from Supergirl Kells. Because Supergirl Kells traditionally has been recovering high, but this time recognizing the scenario and going low. Yeah, and now 97%. You have a long time to play with the stock if you're uh, Yoshi off the top. But we saw the back airs connecting more. We saw that forward air that took up the stock sub 100 before. So this is looking way more difficult for Raptor as this game two happens. That's the first forward smash attempt we've seen out of Sonic. Yeah, a little risky right there for Supergirl Kells. I was like, what is Raptor looking for? You, you bouncing around hoppity skippity. <laughs> Just playing around the platform because like, you want that fall through back air. Once, once you get to that point where back air is the only kill option, it becomes super obvious, but that's the only thing Yoshi really has at that point outside of like a straight up smash. That's going to yeah. get you punished. Oh, and so will uh, with dash grab too. Yeah, that, gra that grab you don't see too often for good reason. It, lasts, so it is not good, but it does lead to po good positioning sometimes. We don't see any command grabs though because Kels is never staying in one spot. Yeah, I wonder how the interaction goes with the command grab and Supergirl Kel spin dashing in. Um, just because I know spin dash beats a lot of options. I believe it. I, I'm pretty sure that it loses to that. At worst, it clanks. I actually don't see that enough to be able to tell. But either way, like, it gets Kels back in. And Raptor finally finding the back at 162. Looking very similar to the last game. You believe in miracles. I mean, I believe in Yoshi forward air, so. All right. <laughs> You never know. It, it, Kels can't be reckless. And I love this. Supergirl Kels refuses to go near the ledge. Saying, look, the only way you can win right now is with a spike. I am not going to be in a position to be spiked. It's the smart move because if you get, if you give that win condition for free to Raptor, you are now looking at loser's bracket. Like, yeah. you do not want to be the one to just give that up. You have to hold your ground. You're at 13% with a 175 and game number two going to favor you at the two-minute mark. We're getting a game three. Absolutely. Great stuff from both of these players back and forth. Gotta wonder. Was it more of the adjustments or the stage that played a role right there? I think it was, I think these two have both shown very much so that they thrive off a lead. And it's a big part of the matchup because usually, sometimes Yoshi is perfectly fine and content with boxing up close. Yoshi doesn't have the burst options to fight Sonic like that. That's why Raptor's been hiding. Yeah. But when you look at it in a nutshell, Raptor without a lead, doesn't really have options to do with Sonic staying away. So like you ha you're you forced to approach in a matchup you really have no way to safely approach with outside of Egg. Yeah, and then that's, I guess, one of the more terrifying things is the fact that Egg against most characters is completely safe. Mm -hmm. Sonic can go through it and hit you. Sonic can just walk backwards too and like, all right, well, we're, we reset neutral again. Well, it's, um, <laughs> there, there's a little bit of lag on Egg and a lot of players aren't aware of that. Mm -hmm. So. Um, some short characters you actually see, they go to the spot where they kind of want Yoshi to throw the egg, and they run under it and go go or grab. That's true. Um, Sonic can do that, but further away. So that is just something that does come into play, is that you want the lead, um, but even the lead, you still have to kind of be uh, cognizant of your decision making, because yeah. you can't just go for your autopilot. I definitely don't think we see Town and City at all, though. Like you were oh, no. you're alluding to the yeah. stage two, Raptor lost a stock sub 100 when in the last game he didn't lose two stocks until about 200 each. Yeah. So it's either going to be a return to something like PS2, maybe. I doubt Battlefield is left open because that's a great stage for Yoshi to combo on, but it's got to be something wide. I highly doubt we see something uh, short. It is going to be small Battlefield because it looks like PS2 was not uh, allowed to go back to. So you get kind of a middle ground with that here. Yeah, I really, really do like this pick. He picked a music counter pick. Oh, okay, you're cheating. All right. 
Big brain. The homies in the background, just like somewhere <laughs> in the back, just like vibing, all the Yoshis dancing. <laughs> da, 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 da. Da, da, da. This is a great stage to get combos too if you're Yoshi. Like when you find those falling up airs, all those F tilts, you get a lot of resets on these platforms. So this can help a bunch if Raptor can get something started. Yeah. Um, I the, the thing I like about this stage is just the size of it. The fact that Supergirl Kells is with punishing, and the with punish you need space. So Raptor's like, hey, we're gonna remove a bit of that space, and the whip punishes you still can do it, but it's a lot more difficult yeah. for you. Now Kels has gotta watch out if Raptor starts to adjust the fact that she techs out often, but yeah, that was that was a really quick grab. She's actually getting a few more here and there, and homing attacking away. That's got a lot of end lag when it hits the ground like that. So take a grab. Did this is, we were one minute, and we haven't even reached 100. We were like just, all right, now we're just, just above there. 100%. But that's... It's game three. No one wants to go to losers. It's a part of the matchup. I like it. Like, you, you, you can't be able to... Like, he who swings first is probably going to lose. And in this case, like, Kels, she can't go up recklessly either. You're going to get hit out of shield. So she's playing really smart, even though she's behind. Because she understands the moment you keep doing stuff like that, you're going to get hit by these straight hit, straight hit borders. And uh, this is looking more and more damning for Supergirl Kels. Raptor is getting multiple grabs. Last game, we saw almost no grab attempts because yep. Raptor was terrified of the repercussions. But now saying, hey, I have a better understanding of how you're playing, and I'm willing to take these risks. He's shielding a lot more too because a grab from Sonic versus the side B from Sonic, pretty big reward difference as we see Raptor find the first stock. Yeah, and Raptor's so aware of the win condition in that position. Back air, hey, came out, you, you, you dodged that one, here's another one. Oh, you dodged that one, you can't dodge him forever and takes the lead. And we saw, historically speaking, whoever takes the first stock has won the game so far. Yeah, this is a good opportunity for Kels. If you're gonna get yourself back in comfortably, you have to catch this jump. But Raptor going high, fading back with the egg, keeping himself safe. Great, good stuff on the grab. Gonna take that stage control. Raptor, how are you getting off this ledge? Supergirl Kells firing back airs, trying to find an up smash and a command a grab coming down. I like the fact that she held on to that for so long. She hasn't gone for the up smash because that can cover spot dodge as well or a neutral getup, but it was out of position because Raptor decided to jump. Raptor slowly working this to 63. In the previous game, that game one though, even though he had a large lead, she brought it back on last stock. So Raptor yeah. also can't be the one to relinquish the lead for free. Got to make your opponent work for it. Oh, what a fortunate fall down right there. Otherwise, we're going to see a forward air, I think, come out. You had to respect that egg at the ledge. Shoot, back air finally okay. finds the mark. Raptor was jumping quite a bit from ledge, and Kels finally caught him for it. Supergirl Kels, though, needs to get some big-time combos right here. I mean, Sonic has a lot of combos, but Raptor's been doing a good job of avoiding them. Raptor, I... Raptor's ability to like kind of stay calm in these spots is crazy because logic. I am, get, <laughs> I am getting mentally drained thinking about what's the next option, what's the next safe choice to not, not get a big punish. Yeah. New Yorkers do this, okay? Yeah, you're right. They, they, they live, they live through this they, they, every single day. Oh, that was so close. I think it, it, like the ledge invincibility was just off because that can actually hit if Kels gets too quick. The up smash goes so through. Big. Only 41 percent. And just the awareness of Raptor to know that that up smash was going to connect. And yes, Supergirl Kells made a comeback almost in game number one, but this deficit is so much larger. Yeah, and by tech, but I think by seeding, this would be an upset, but Raptor has been around for a long time, coming back, showing very well why he's performing well. But oh, the forward no. connects, the double jump's gone. So now he's, oh, never mind. excuse me, I'm a liar. Double jump was still there. Does connect on the back air and air dodges past the follow up forward. So he gets the hold on just a little longer onto the stock. And Kels coming through, just trying to space around, wait for the punish. Does find the gap, but the, the side B didn't connect. This is so crazy. Oh, uh, the homing attack coming through. Back here is not going to poke about the ledge. Raptor is it. Raptor's taking a lot of hits now. Even after he got that stock logic, he's actually taking a whole lot more hits by compared to before. Yeah, and I mean, Super Girl Kels definitely bringing this back bit by bit. And I was mentioning how it was such a much, it was a lot larger of a deficit, but Supergirl Kells does not care. Apparently only plays good when behind. Yeah, this is only, this is very similar to game one where Raptor had a large lead. She took only 42% on the first stock, only 37 here. Big support system over the, uh, by the way, a lot of Canada is sitting right behind Kells, ready to pop off if she gets a dub. I know NY is lurking, but this is, this could get very loud very quick if she gets that stock. And it, it's, it's so tense right now, knowing that you need this stock, but you cannot afford to take more damage. Yeah, that's the pro that's the biggest fear. You don't really have a safe Kale draw. Oh, I thought, he was gonna, I thought he was going to go for a jab block, but instead looks for a big reset. The forwarder is too far away because now the rage on side B is pushing him too far. 
And is it going to be a back air maybe to take it from Supergirl Kel? It is, in fact, going to be the back air. It's going to catch the jump in from Raptor. 46% on the side of Kels, zero on the side of Raptor. Sub two minutes, we are at the point where time is a win condition. Once again, it did not go to that in the first game, but it could happen. Oh, it could, and I mean, the damage is starting to stack up. Oh. Super Girl Kel, that was really overzealous, taking quite the risk going for that. Pretty much using all the resources there. Gave up stage control. This Raptor is, making the most of it. It's the same as game one. Before she got the lead, and then he caught the down air and got a bunch of damage on. 67% to 75. One minute, 20 seconds left on the clock. And I mean, you do have some time to play with it for Super Girl Kel. Only 8% separating these players. You know, the next hit is so important. The lead now goes back to Supergirl Kel. Oh, she tried to go for the B-reverse off the side B to catch him coming in early with the maybe the egg. Oh, the forward air is not going to be enough yet, but if he gets caught with an F-tilt or something up the ledge, the double jump is used, goes for down air, and Kels gets caught, but now she's on ledge. Do you go for the kill, or do you go for the events evasive play? That's really the question. Yoshi does have kill power. Oh, he tried to find the falling up air, but he doesn't get it logic. This is like, that up air is going to get him back in, but 126, now Raptor kind of has to play to the kill. He, he like, It's going to be hard to find that combo. Oh, and went for the read on the up smash. Yeah, Supergirl Kel oh. skating by. Double jump's gone. Oh, there you go. And Raptor, and Raptor takes, it. takes it. After Raptor, it just jumped towards Kels to force the jump. That resource was gone, and you wow. had a few choices. Air dodge, probably get caught by up smash. Up B, now you're free falling at mercy of any straight hit from Yoshi, and she got caught for it on the platform. That was good composure from Raptor at the end because that could easily oh. went the other way. And just, wow. Because, yeah. <laughs> I mean, 